Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Let's look at two famous Ryans and let's see if there's any coincidences here. There's no coincidences, but let's see what they share. Let's see if they do signs, symbols, and agendas that I can show on screen and talk a little bit about. This is Ryan Gosling. He's a very famous actor. He's doing one eye symbolism here. This is emphasizing one of his eyes, the eye of Horus. This is him participating in the homosexual and transgender agenda. His shirt says, some dudes marry dudes, get over it. There's no such thing as gay marriage. God made marriage between a man and a woman. They go together. There's no in-betweens. There's not pronouns that you need. There's none of this other garbage. The world is forcing that. And when it gets into the schools and with our children and stuff, it's especially terrifying. Ryan Gosling is hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. He is wearing a NASA jacket. And he's in a movie that perpetuates the lie of outer space, space travel, the moon landing, like planets being like places that you can go live on potentially. God made Earth. Earth is creation. God didn't make a universe of creation. Some people would say, you're taking away from God's majesty or something like that. God can make whatever he wants, but he made Earth. Earth is creation. There's a firmament dome above it. There's waters above that. There's heavens above and God our Father and our Lord seated literally above us. There's none of this outer space, space travel, moon landing garbage. Hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. Right? Making NASA seem cool. Making NASA be like seem legitimate when it's not. And being in a movie that fakes outer space. There's waters above, heavens above, and God above us. Earth is creation. Let's move on to Ryan Reynolds. He's on a magazine cover, darkening one of his eyes utterly, doing the eye of Horus, one eye symbolism. He's doing that funny sounding gesture that I show every day, the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Index fingers together, pressed against his lips, other fingers interlocked. He's doing it again here, index fingers together, pressed against his lips, other fingers interlocked. This gesture is supposed to represent supreme enlightenment, but it's not. It's the false light of Lucifer. The name Lucifer means light bearer. In Freemasonry, they seek light to move up in degrees, and that's the light they seek. He's also winking for one-eye symbolism. Ryan Reynolds is hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. And he's out in outer space, probably just a coincidence, right? <laughs> this is the world. Honestly, God made Earth. Earth is creation. It's not so much the shape. It's that there's a dome and waters above. And it's like it says in Genesis. God made us like he says in Genesis. So there's no cavemen and all that stuff. There's no evolution of kind. There's adaption. There's other things like that in the world. But as far as creation goes, how we were created, God made us like he says in the Bible. God made earth. The, he, he made creation like he says in Genesis in the Bible and throughout the Bible. What do these people do? They're involved in Freemasonry and it's Lucifer, Satan, and they hide their hands in their coats and they do enlightenment gestures and they perpetuate NASA, and they're in movies about outer space, right? People see it on the movie screen or on TV, and it normalizes it for them. It's, it's a type of brainwashing, believe it or not. I know people will mock at this till, till the very end, until they find out when they die, or you know when the rapture happens, or whatever's going to go on in this world. We're living in the last days. If you can't tell that, you are not paying attention. Many people are what's in what's called the truther community on YouTube. We're trying to spread the truth. Not everyone has all the best info. You got to use discernment because what's been happening too is some people will come on here, have some good points about things, make some good videos and make some sense. And then they leave out the gospel in Jesus and the Bible, or they just They'll talk about something else like more land beyond the dome and something like that. And they'll muddy the waters because they're giving some truth to, to reel you in. And then 
they muddy it with lies, and it's very confusing. That's why you must use discernment of the Holy Spirit. That doesn't mean everything you're going to know is going to be correct, but I've been doing this for many years, and I'm telling you that the earth is biblical, and it's important because it can help save souls. It can help people know Jesus Christ, and Jesus will start opening their eyes, removing the scales from their eyes. We're told in the scriptures that Satan, the small g god of this world, blinds the minds of unbelievers so they can't see the glorious gospel of truth of Jesus. And that's a real problem. Eternity is on the line. Heaven and hell. Right, right, everyone, brothers and sisters, everyone else. God bless you.